you know, the funny thing about talking to people who try to school me in my life and what I should be doing in my life, especially if they're just over 20, is I don't give a shit what you think about my life. I have plenty of siblings and relatives who are not a part of my life who have attitudes and mentalities about what a failure they think I'm in life. And I sit there and I look at them and go, you know what? You're still fighting the game. You're still working for the man. You are still working 40 to maybe 60 hours a week or more trying to do your motherfucking job. You have no free time. You have no life. You have no quality partnership in your intimate life. And openly, your boys or your children are bastards of Satan. So give me a break. I live my life in less than 20 hours a week. I love my wife. We always had family day on Friday for the three of us, myself, my wife, and my son. And openly, apparently I've got grandchildren. And that's because my son went on to something before he lost his life to Satan. The realities of life is you don't get to talk about my life. You don't get to tell me what I can do with my life. You don't get to play with my body as if I'm a fucking doll for you. And the next time that Muslim comes near me, I promise you, his idiotic behavior will get him caught by police departments because of his lies about what he thinks he can do to you and to me. You see, the real question we always have to ask ourselves is, who's next? Who's next for the sexual assault? Who's next for the abuse? Who's next for the abatement of the law? Who's next for the harm to the children? Who's next for the violence against a mind? Who's next for the things that you think are so unkind? But openly, the real question is, who gets to do it to you?